Hi everybody, welcome to my first ever YouTube channel. Um, it's been something I've been meaning to do for a while and I finally got around to it and I'm very glad I did. What you're going to be finding on my channel is a little bit of reviews, um, a lot of kids activities and how to get messy with your kids. Um, I do a lot of slime, I do a lot of play-doh, um, I do a lot of activities with them to try and keep me sane. So I hope that you tune in, I hope that you subscribe, and I look forward to our journey together. But today we're here for another reason. Um, earlier this year I was approached by Beauty Bulletin to review the John Frieda Brilliantly Brunette range. Um, and it was great timing. So if you know me or if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that um, I've always had long blonde hair. And this year I took the plunge after realizing that with my kids I just have no time to do my hair anymore. Um, so I went a little bit more natural, back to my brunette, and I cut it. So I was beginning to feel like I regretted it a little bit. Um, and I was even contemplating going back blonde at the time. So when they approached me, I jumped at the chance because it was a chance for me to see if I could get some of the tone back in. So the John Frieda Brilliant Brunette range, um, if you haven't seen it, there are the bottles. It is available in a lot of the leading pharmacies. Um, but I chose a visibly deeper range because I wanted it, or I wanted to see rather, if it could put that tone back in my hair. Um, so far I have been happy. The scent of the product is amazing. It literally smells like you've stepped out of a salon. Um, it's really, really good. It smells expensive, which is great. Um, the product is good. You don't need to use a lot. I'm one of those uh, people that tend to like use three golf balls, you know, in terms of product in my hair. And I didn't feel like I had to use a lot of this. Um, the shampoo lathers nicely, so I really, you know, I, I do think that this little bottle is gonna last two months, maybe three, um, now that I have short hair, maybe even longer. Um, so the smell is great, the look is great. I think in terms of product, I'm pretty happy with it. I would give it about an eight out of 10. Um, the only reason being that it can be a little bit heavy, um, but I think that's natural because of the tone that's added back into your hair. It adds a great shine. It picks up your highlights brilliantly. I don't know if you can see the blonde sort of streaks that are coming through in my hair. Um, so it's picked that up quite nicely. Um, I haven't noticed any leftover residue on my hands, so I know that that was, you know, or, or is maybe a concern for some people that there's a little bit of residue left over because, it, you know, it's got that toning factor, but I haven't noticed that at all. Um, and overall, I'm pretty happy. Price range, it's it's averagely priced. It's not one of the most expensive. Um, it's about 100 or just over 100 rand a bottle. Um, so it isn't your, you know, your everyday run-of-the-mill grocery store types, but it is mid-range. It's pretty reasonably priced. Would I buy it again? Yes. Um, absolutely, I do think that I, I would, and I think given the longevity of the product, you know, I, I certainly would try it again. I've used their blonde ones when I was blonde, I was very happy with those. I've used the brunette ones now, I'm very happy with these. So if you are contemplating whether it works, if you are wondering if it can help you, I would say yes. There are two products, so there's the visibly deeper range, and then there's a brightening one as well. So if you want to bring out those highlights even more, um, if you want to add some light to your hair, try that one perhaps. But I did the visibly deeper, and I am definitely happy.